guest one. Today we are set to listen to Professor Lava Nairo. Here is a program for a one-day staff induction of new pedagogical skills towards appreciating the competency-based curriculum. Of course, pedagogy is such a huge word. In future, we will request Dr. Duncan Wasite to unpack it for us, what pedagogies mean. The theme is embracing new pedagogies for effective provision of university education in Kenya. The master of ceremony, Dr. Sigora, and of course, you are truly. We were supposed to have had a fair at 8.30. Of course, they opened in prayer. We are lagging behind, but of course we hope we will keep time. The other two of the day are Mrs. Caroline Sumeyu and Mrs. Caroline Dio Ivinia. Dr. Robert Wakula, the very eloquent church minister, will be opening this session with a prayer when time comes. On the program, we also have Dean Seth, Dr. Rispa Wepuhulu. She will make her comments. Then, of course, the session chair will be Dr. Edwin Masibo. We shall have brief remarks from Professor Solomon Shibayo. I'll see you come. Kindly, those of us at the back, let's occupy the front seats. We are the VIPs. Let's step forward. We shall also have opening remarks by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Isaac Ipada Odeo, paradigm shift in instruction in higher education. Thereafter, we shall have a health break, a team break. All of us who are here, that's why I was telling guys who are hanging out there to come here, we'll take care of you, don't worry. Thereafter, we shall have essentials for effective instru instruction, again from Professor Lamba Nairo. Session chair will be Dr. Duncan Wasike. The local tour will still be Ms. Caroline Simiu and Mrs. Caroline Dio Kivinia. Thereafter, we shall have an open forum, I think facilitated by Dr. Duncan Wasike. Then thereafter, we shall again go back to Professor Daba Nairo for learning engagement in instruction. Thereafter, official closing remarks from the Vice Chancellor. A vote of thanks will be given by Director of Quality Assurance, Professor Julius Mayo. Then, of course, closing prayer by our very good brother, the Church Minister, Mr. Norbert Wanyun. Nimekuona kakaku, karibu. Kaka, koloni, karibu. Mudi wa idara ya lugha kiswaini na lugha za kiafrika, wana wamanwa, karibu. Na kusherehekea kwa pamoja nasi. Madam Ayan Sibiyu, karibu, from the English Department. We do some little music as we wait to begin. Professor Laban Airo, Laban Peter Airo, Vice Chancellor, Data University, is a professor of research methods. His job title and responsibilities include Vice Chancellor. Data University, in charge of leadership, administration of HR, academic and extension activities of the university. He is a professor of research methods, teaching methods, statistics to PhD and master's students. His biography, 
professor has been a teacher of chemistry, a principal of several high schools, provincial director of education, deputy director of staff training, Kenya Institute of Education. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, gentlemen. Let's be upstanding for our guest uh, speaker, Professor Peter Labanairo, accompanied by the Vice Chancellor of the University, uh, Professor Mtoa DBCPRI, and uh, Professor Siamba AFD. While in that uh, standing uh, position, we would like to do the national anthem. Then we do a prayer before we sit. So we're going to do the national anthem in case for any one starts up.
President Thompson, good morning. I take this opportunity to welcome you so warmly for this one day seminar prepared by the Department of Curriculum and Teaching to enable us to retool ourselves as we carry out our duty of offering education to our learners. As a department, we believe quality instruction, quality teaching is necessary for the production of human resources who participate in national development for the growth of our society. And as you agree with me, the ladder of yesterday is different from the ladder of today, and possibly there will be a difference between the ladder of today and the ladder of tomorrow. And the teacher of 20 years ago would be the same teacher today, and will also teach the next 20 years to come. To begin with all these changes within the ladder, there are committed requires retooling of this teacher for the effectiveness of meeting the needs of this changing ladder. And with the advent of the CPC curriculum, there's every need for us to retool ourselves as lecturers so that we can be effective in offering instruction to our students. This is the surest way of ensuring quality of the products from our institutions. And that's why, as a department in the Faculty of Education and Social Sciences, we organize for this seminar. We appreciate management because this has become almost an annual event and their support has always been forthcoming. We appreciate the management. And we appreciate our first professor, Labanairo, who in his busy schedules found it fit to put us in. And we want to give him an opportunity to share with us the rich experience that will develop our competencies as lecturers and even those students who are participating together with us to be effective in our work performance. I wish to welcome my boss, the Dean, Faculty of Education and Social Sciences, to come and take up from there. Can we appreciate as he comes? system of education in our country. As a faculty, we are keen on global and local development in education. 
including competence-based curricula, that is CBC. And that's why today it's a very important day to us because we want to hear from the horse's mouth. I know very well that Professor Ayiro, who is the Vice Chancellor at Dexter University, he took part and he was at the forefront of this CBC. So we are lucky to have him today. And just before I welcome my seniors to give their remarks, I'm mandated to carry out the introduction and we shall go in this manner. Can we see the students who are with us here stand up? If you are a student, these are our students who are key on what we are going to learn today. So they are also going to be better in the future and be very be better teachers. Can we get to the place? We also have our colleagues from the administration section of the university. If you are one of them, can you please have us? Can we clap for them? We also have our academic colleagues who teach the students, and we are talking about service delivery. If you know you are a lecturer, you are a tutor, you work within the academic section. Can we stand up, please? Can we clap for them? <laughs> then, as I finish up, as we have been told, I'm Dr. Rispa Namasaka. I wish at this point to welcome. Professor Mutua to give his brief remarks. Then we will turn and welcome Professor Sinyamba. We will turn and welcome Professor Shibaibo. Welcome Denisi. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean. Our Vice Chancellor, Professor Isaac Parr-Dale. Our guest speaker, Professor Rabbi Nairo. The BC, the BC Leicester University. My colleagues are uh, Professor Shvairo DBC Asa, uh, Professor Siamla DBC FD, Deans, Directors, colleagues, uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think we are I'm excited today to learn this new progression in education that is on CBC. I think some that all of us are eager to learn and to share from uh, one of the professionals or people with experience, that is our chief guest. And I'm excited and I'm sure you're also excited to learn more because every day is a day of learning. Mine is just to wish our speaker, our speaker all the best as he takes us through this series. I think it touches all of us. Uh, someone was asked me the other day, how are the engineers positioning themselves to embrace a new curriculum? And I'm sure whether you're in engineering, whichever field, you must know what is coming. I'm saying that because in a few years' time, we'll be getting these young ones who are going through the program. And I think they pass. This was the best time so that as universities we are ready. We are not caught by what happened in 1990 when you got the first 844 group. In fact, what happened was the engineering were caught unawares. The program was for four years, but the time the student reported, we realized that engineering did not take four years. And I can tell you it took nine months to reorganize, to have a program for engineers, take five years. I'm sure Dean has also planned, don't forget that we have variation in terms of training. We'll be training vets, we'll be training doctors, and those who attend others four years. So I think it's the right time, and I'm so happy, glad that uh, we have uh, Professor Ayuro is an expert in that area. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to say a word of truth. And with that, I wish to welcome my colleague, Professor Dona Siamba, to give his brief remarks. Thereafter, by Professor Shvairo. Thank you very much. Thank you. My colleague, Professor Engineer Dr. Mutura, um, our guest speaker, Professor Laban Nairo, our VC, my colleague, uh, EVCs, T. 
teachers, lecturers, students, and administrators, I'm young. Uh, I think I will take the shortest time giving my remarks and I will probably promise that I will share part of what will come out of here as a newcomer, as somebody who has never been inducted in the pedagogical space. I'm going to pick up a few things as we go. But allow me to, uh, to share with you that my recent experiences, just as recent as yesterday, informs me that decisions or choices made by you or made by somebody close to you have consequences. And any event occurring near you or away from you has impacts. Now we are talking about decisions that were made a few years ago to change our way of education. Those decisions have impacts on us as individuals, as lecturers, as managers, and as students. How I wish that we take time to listen to whatever is going to be shared in this forum. And those of us who will pick up something from here, may I request that you share all the experiences you will pick from here with those of our colleagues who have not come to this seminar. It is very important. It's something that may define your future either tomorrow or a few years from now. Thank you very much. I wish to take this opportunity to welcome Professor Solomon Chibairo to give us his speech. Our chief guest, Professor Baba Iro, Vice Chancellor Professor Isakai Karoteo, my fellow colleagues, Professor Tua, Mr. Siamba, my fellow colleagues, deans, directors, lecturers, professors, and the Congress. Good morning. Good morning again. My work is simple. One is to uh, thank you all for coming here today so that we can both learn what uh, CDC is all about. Now, before I give my one or two remarks, I thought I should introduce our division. Uh, Professor Labanaino, we have three divisions one for research, uh, one for administration, and another. Professor Siamba, and the Division of Academics and Students Affairs. Uh, we currently have five faculties for schools. That's the Faculty of Education and Social Science, which has invited us here today, and the Faculty of uh, Science, and we have the School of Computing and Informatics, and the School of Computing, uh, Business and Economics, and the School of Graduate Studies. Uh, those are the main schools and faculty we have here. Would the deans please stand up for those respective uh, schools and faculty? Like the dean of school of business and economics. Okay, the others, and she's the one for education and social sciences. Uh, may we have the director standing up? We have about uh, seven directorates. Uh, Office of Career Services, the director of income generation and uh, gender studies. Please sit down. And we also have uh, uh, about 18 departments, teaching departments. And currently we have between uh, we are here to do another accounting. We have between seven to seven thousand and five hundred students. And the biggest pool um, of faculty is education, housing and how much you say. And uh, the others are in. We NCT is our flagship program, not because it's the major one, but we do all things depending on ICT because our major uh, uh, driver of all the activities we have in the country. 
Now, my second comment is this, that we have heard about this thing called CDC. When I heard of it, people introduced me about it and not introduced to me in the right way. They were rather actually pointing out of the negatives. And then I went to KICC and I found the guilty people, the people who are responsible by CDC. These people not only were coming from my home county, I was surprised uh, but it was not uh, Professor Hero and Professor Kane. They were the ones behind CDC. So the whole morning I was struggling to love them, but come evening I had forgiven them. Because I understood what CDC was all about. Then this understanding was compromised by a friend of mine who went to England. And notice how the primary students are doing their education. Police CBC has transformed that nation. You end up producing people who do, not only people who love what they do, but they solve issues.